These are book notes for the book Essentialism. This is a book by Greg McEwen. He is from the Stanford Business School. I'm going to skip through this drawing of him because it didn't turn out that great. But uh, here are some things from the book. Uh, one of the topics in the book or the concepts described are the three core truths. So I'll talk through the three different ones. So the first one is I choose to. And the thing about these core truths is that they come from these um, limiting beliefs that we have or these. So I choose to aligns to this thing. I have to. A lot of us use that language saying I have to do this. I have to do that. But if you change it to I choose to, then you have a little more ownership over it and you can see that uh, you start to think of the reasons that you choose to do certain things. The next core truth is only a few things matter. The This aligns um, going back to a thing that a lot of people um, can start to think is that it's all important when you're trying to pursue a bunch of different projects. There's good reasons to for each individual one, but they can't all be important or else none of them are important. And that's where you get to that idea that only a few things matter, and that's core to essentialism. Number three, I can do anything but not everything. And this comes from this uh, false belief of I can do both. And I think this it's less and less um, of a thing that people try to multitask and believe really that they can do all these different things, but um, it is still valuable to reiterate that um, multitasking in most cases is just task switching. Uh, so you're just switching back and forth between things and there's a, a tax to that cost uh, cognitively. Um, and then at a, at a different level, if you're not just moment to moment trying to multitask, but if you're pursuing all these different projects, again, um, you can probably succeed in any single one of them if you apply the right focus to it. But if you are splitting your attention between five different things and you take one step, and you can take, this is that idea, like if you could take one step each day, do you want to split that up over the week, uh, going in seven different directions, uh, taking one step each day? Or do you want to take seven steps in that week towards one direction? This is another excerpt from the book. If you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. If you think about it, who is that someone else? Uh, think about your priorities right now. Uh, you might have gotten them from just how you were raised, what your parents believed, uh, what you were taught in school, who your friends are and upbringing and your current environment. And that's good. That's not to say that these are all bad beliefs and these are all bad priorities. It's good to be aware of it though and then take a look at where they're coming from and if you uh, reevaluate periodically if you agree with those priorities and if uh, they're working in your favor and if they're not then uh, work towards changing them and that's that for right now I will do more notes on this I really like this book it's probably um, there's this phrase that it kind of does come to essentialism is if you read a bunch of different books is that as useful as rereading the great books? Um, I definitely consider Essentialism one of the great books that I've read in, say, the past five years that has affected how I think and how I um, act. Hit subscribe to check out more notes, uh, Essentialism, and I'll do more about different books. Thanks a lot.